Now, welcome back to the workshop dojo. I've got something really interesting for you here. Now, if Festal made a laser level, this might probably be what it would look like. Full disclosure, I paid for this myself, so I can say what I wanna say, because I paid my money. I basically needed a laser level. I mean, back in the old days, of course, we used to kind of hold up levels against walls and, and try to get level and hold it with one hand or one elbow and then trying to mark it, and <sighs> that time is now gone. I bought like a little cheap laser level, you know, years ago, and I use it for simply everything. So I decided that I was going to invest in a more substantial laser level because I wanted something that was, that was good. And I wanted a laser level that would kind of throw lasers all around the place. These laser levels are, are unbelievably handy and they can really, really help. I mean, I will point one thing out though. I mean, laser levels uh, really need their own stand because you need to kind of stand them up and actually get the level and then you need to leave it. You, you can't just hang it somewhere because otherwise it just won't be level, but we'll go, we'll go over that a bit later. Now, um, First thing that I like about this is obviously uh, the color scheme. The color scheme is actually really cool. It is very, well, it's not made by Festival. It's made by a company called Hupa. So it's a Chinese company and they have colored their style in a, in a, in a kind of a Festool kind of feel. It's not Festool, it's not made by Festool, but it looks like Festool. It looks like it belongs with all the Festool tools. The next thing I like about it, it's it's kind of like a rubbery, a rubbery texture. So it looks like it could handle a drop. Now, I mean, laser levels are inherently very, very sensitive. So even if it could handle a drop, it might not really be working too well after that. So I wouldn't advise that, but it's, it's nice because it feels solid in your hand it feels like it, w it wouldn't slip out of your hand, in other words. So it actually feels actually really, really nice. The next thing I like about it is that these machines drink batteries. They really, really do. And I've thought for a long time that the way to go with these would be to have a substantial rechargeable battery. And that's exactly what this has got. It's got a, it's got a rechargeable battery. And another good thing is that you can actually power it. It's actually got a power socket. So you can hook it up to the, if your, if your main starts to run low, you can hook it up to the mains and actually power it from the mains as well, just in case the battery's running low. But to be honest with you, I mean, I've used this now for, for quite a few months now, and the battery has never run out during the day. The battery lasts for the whole day, which is pretty, pretty good. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at the, the actual lasers here. Now, it's three lasers, so it, throws, so it throws one out horizontal, one out vertically, and it also throws one out to the side as well, 
which I think is very, very clever. The one, the one out to the side goes all the way up through the ceiling. And that one there also goes all the way up through the ceiling. So you've got kind of this and that, which is actually really, really, really handy. I believe it also creates almost a crisscross on the point as well, which is obviously handy if you're kind of leveling up things on the ceiling. Um, it's got a, it's got a lock, it's got a lock as well. So, so when you lock it, the lasers don't move around. You know, some of these things, when you switch it off and you shake it, you can actually hear the lasers rattling, which means that if it's in a, a, a box and the, the box is moving around, lasers might rattle around. But all in all, it's a it's a very it's a very nice it's very it's very small, okay. It's a very it's a very nice little unit, and it does the job really really well. And obviously the color scheme is my color scheme, because obviously I'm a festal person, obviously. But I mean apart from that, it's a really nice, really, um, uh, really well thought out laser, and. Uh, it's a green laser, not a red laser. I forgot to point that out because generally speaking, green lasers are easier to read outside. But to be completely honest with you, I've had a couple of red lasers, green lasers, and none of them are easy to see outside. You, 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 it, it doesn't matter. I mean, inside, fine. Outside, good luck with that. And uh, apart from that, I mean, it, 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 the, the price is, is almost half the price of all the, the, the big boys, the DeWalt and like all those people. This, this, I mean, obviously this is made in China. Well, in fact, most of this stuff is made in China, but this is made by a Chinese company and they've priced it really, really nicely. So I would certainly advise you to check it out works great uh, batteries last laser level is good I would certainly recommend it anyway that's me for today and uh, I'll see you on the next workshop dojo see you then <laughs>